Hello and War Eagle. I'm Calvin Johnson, Dean of the Auburn University College of Veterinary Medicine. Welcome to the 2020 Annual Conference and the JT Vaughn Equine Conference hosted by the Auburn University College of Veterinary Medicine. I am really enthusiastic about the quality of our program. The lineup of expert speakers from across the nation and within our college is going to create an excellent and very enjoyable learning environment. And because it's virtual, you won't have to wear a mask. This is our 113th consecutive conference on the Auburn University campus. I make reference to 113 years because it provides a little perspective. While these are remarkably challenging times due to the COVID-19 pandemic, over the years, this conference and its attendees have weathered a lot of very formidable challenges. Just consider these. Four conferences were held throughout World War I and subsequently the 1918 H1N1 influenza pandemic. 11 conferences were held during the Great Depression. Six conferences were held during World War II. No doubt, we will place a new mark on Auburn Veterinary Medicine's historical timeline with this 2020 annual conference and JT Vaughn Equine Conference delivered virtually during the COVID-19 pandemic. So consider yourself an important part of our college's history by being here. Speaking, speaking of virtual annual conferences, I want to take you back to 1955, 65 years ago. That was the year Dean Emeritus Tom Vaughn graduated from veterinary school. The year the first class of Kentucky residents graduated as a result of the SREV contract with Auburn. 1955's annual conference was, in fact, filmed live on public television. So, due to that precedent set 65 years ago, it could be said that we are in the second virtual annual conference for veterinarians at Auburn. I'm grateful for this opportunity to give you a brief overview of our college and to report that we are doing very well in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, there have been many challenges over the course of the 218 days since the WHO declared COVID-19 a worldwide pandemic, and that was on March 11th. On March 13th, just two days later, classes were suspended all the way across Auburn University. We responded substantially in just three days. On March 16th, 2020, our preclinical vet students all 390 of them resumed classes through remote, remote delivery. That is, we began offering online education. Our classes have continued uninterrupted because of some of the safeguards that we implemented 11 years ago during the last H1N1 influenza pandemic. That was to record all lectures and to post them on the web as a study aid and as a mitigation plan for potential course interruptions in the future. Little did we know that the contingency plan would be put to the test in 2020. And that contingency plan has passed with honors. Our current classes are being delivered through a blended approach, which means that the vast majority of classes are in person. To maintain physical distancing though, we have rotated the two halves of each class on alternating days. One half attends class and spreads out, the other half stays at home and watches the lectures synchronously through video. While not the method we would choose, we have found the students to be highly adaptable, resilient and responsive to remote instruction. It works. Clinical education, where hands-on training is essential, is much more challenging. It requires a complete revamp and redevelopment of our clinical rotations. Essentially, all specialty services in our veterinary teaching hospital, except for those devoted to emergency and critical care, had been closed. The clock began ticking for the class of 2021 to gain an acceptable level of clinical competency and achieve the ABMA minimum of 30 weeks of clinical education. For the first 30 days of the pandemic, we relied on self-directed student learning, enrollment in an online board study resource known as VetPrep, 
and two mock NAVLI exams. During that 30-day period, our clinical faculty adapted to the challenge. In popular terminology, they pivoted. Beginning with four weeks of diagnostic pathology training delivered by video recordings using rounds footage and also necropsies using head-mounted GoPro cameras, this was followed with newly developed weekly clinical rotation modules, which we were term, termed remote clinical experiences. These were very effective as mechanisms to engage senior students on topics that would be applied in person when they returned to clinics. And that return happened on June 22nd. I'm happy to report that we have just completed 22 weeks of face-to-face -face clinical training. And I am very confident that the class of 2021 will graduate with the level of clinical competence that we expect of our graduates. Auburn's Veterinary Teaching Hospital has remained open throughout the pandemic, first for emergencies, critical care patients, and patients requiring continuity of care. Today, we are fully open for referrals and community practice, although we still receive patients uh, from parking lots. Caseload only transiently dipped in March and April, and it has rebounded to near normal levels. Cases translate into teaching opportunities for us, outreach to regional practitioners, and generation of revenue to support our operation. So as you can see, a fully operational teaching hospital is vital to our mission. From a research perspective, this college never skipped a beat. Our philosophy was that animal-based research could not stop, and we must continue our work in husbandry, monitoring, treatments, data collection, health assessments, not to mention grant writing and planning. Staff coverage throughout the pandemic has been challenging, but again, our people stepped up and have done what was needed, and they have done it remarkably. As a result, our college's research activities are emerging from six months of COVID-19 restrictions stronger than ever. Nearly $75 million in research contracts and grants have been processed and provisionally approved. This is research productivity like we have never experienced in our college. You can expect some exciting announcements in the coming months related to canine detection, gene therapy for neurological diseases, equine-based products generated in support of public health, and many other fields of study. I am very proud of this year's annual conference committee, chaired by Dr. Pete Christofferson and coordinated by Meredith Smilson and Joe Beth Williford. They are a dedicated team that has adapted beautifully to this year's challenges. Annual conference and the JT Vaughan Equine Conference include 86 hours of race-approved CE delivered in seven tracks. Attendees may earn a total of 20 hours of CE during the three-day event. The live sessions will include Q&A opportunities with speakers followed by the presentation following the presentation. We have a great roster of speakers lined up for the conference this year, including many experts from around the country and authorities that reside and work right here at Auburn University. The live webinars will be recorded and will be available for on-demand viewing throughout 2020. To earn CE credit for online viewing, attendees will be required to take a short quiz. And that only applies to that on-demand option uh, that will be available later. I want to enthusiastically thank our corporate sponsors led by Beringer Ingelheim, Merck Animal Health, Purina, and Seminole Wellness. We have also developed virtual exhibit booths from, from Covetris, Southern Veterinary Partners, and Christian Veterinary Mission. Please visit the virtual exhibit hall and thank the representatives of those companies and the groups who have made this annual conference possible. I'll close with just four scheduling announcements. Please join us for the awards recognition ceremony, which will begin on Thursday, October 22nd, beginning at five o'clock PM. Also, please check the front page of the annual conference website for some important links. 
Dean Emeritus, JT Vaughn, has written a valuable and very interesting paper on professional ethics, which I have the distinct honor of reading for you. That presentation is linked on the website. Please join the College of Veterinary Medicine alumni, an affiliate group of the Auburn Alumni Association, which has a membership link on the site. And finally, those of you who would have celebrated class reunions this year, that means that you graduated in a year that ends in either a zero or a five, those events will be rescheduled for next year. Be on the lookout for future communications. On behalf of all of us in the Auburn University College of Veterinary Medicine, thank you very much for being here for your support of 2020 Annual Conference and the 2020 JT Vaughn Equine Conference. Have a great day.